Breakdown and Prediction number three, season two, Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, support this show, because I appreciate you tuning in, appreciate your time. Now, we're doing uh, Diego De La Hoya taking on Jose Salgado. So it's Salgado. Salgado. Now, this is a, a pretty, I'm pretty kind of thrown off on this one because Diego is ranked pretty high across the sanction and body. He's number four by the WBC. He's number five by the WBA, four by the IBF, and number one in the WBO against, he's number one for Isaac Do Dogbo. Now, but this Jose fight right here, like I said, he's number four. By the WBC and Jose is number fourteen by the WBC, so I figure I would think since he's ranked number one, he'd be fighting the bottom barrel of the WBO stuff. But no, he's fighting the bottom barrel of the WBC. Who knows if he's not ready to go against Isaac Dogbo? Does he want to go against uh, Ray Vargas? That'd be a tough one, man. Super bantamweight champion Ray Vargas. Uh, no, so it's, oh, uh, no, Asasawa, uh, I'm sorry, but I think he's already been mandatory to fight uh, TJ, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, so that's going to be, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, yeah, Ray Vargas, if he wants to go Ray Vargas style, that'd be tough, that'd be tough for little D Diego, I'm over here watching, uh, Doing some research on my number one female fighter, Zhang Zhou Chai. She's coming up on the ninth. The ninth is a busy, busy day. Busy day. So Zhang Chai is fighting uh, Anna Victoria Polo. I'm watching that in the background. Anna Victoria is a come forward fighter style. But hey, let's talk about Diego Sagado fight, right? Diego's 20 and 0, 9 KOs, 45 punch knockout. He's the NABF champion. Super Bantamweight Champion, the WBO NABO Champion, North American Boxing Association, North American Boxing Federation Super Bantamweight Champion, 127 rounds of experience at the age of 23, 5'6", with a 68 reach. Jose Sagado, 36, 4, and 2, 29 KOs, 2 KOs by loss. Sounds good on paper. Excellent paper, but she's uh, experience of 214 rounds at the age of 28. He's 5'7", so he has an inch reach, but he he should, like I said, this is the bottom of the barrel of the WBC. This is a very stay busy, stay active, uh, stay stay sharp fight for uh, Diego. He has too much fancy feet for him. He has the punch selection going in his favor. The best bet Jose has is to draw this into a dog fight and hope he lands a lucky punch. Uh, I, I don't, because Jose cannot fight going backwards. Uh, he, he's straight up and down. He's there to be hit. And if he's going to, ex and when he's in exchange, he doesn't move his head. Like I said, the only, this fight is, a, what's the what's the word they use? In, uh, it could be a trap fight. You know, if, if, if uh, Diego comes in here not taking it serious, he might blow some rounds where he has to come back and he, he doesn't come back enough uh, too late, too soon type fight, you know, but there's no way I see uh, Diego losing this, you know, he should, what, what is this fight? Is this, how many rounds is this fight even for? Because I don't, I don't think uh, Diego's going to knock him out though. I don't think he's going to do that. I think this has gone the whole distance. This fight is on June 8th on ESPN2. Golden Boy on ESPN2 and ESPN this Sport This. That's sports for all you non-speaking Spanish people. <laughs> ah, Mr. A being a jackass. It's a 10-rounder. 10 10-rounder. 10 and that's a quick little... Jose, dude, what the fuck is up here? Jose Segado, let's go to you. 36 and 4. His last. Let's go to his last fights. Like I said, he's not, it's, it's not much, man. His, his last win, he beat a guy 9, 17, and 2. 
His last loss was the fight before that against a 23 and 13 and one guy. He won before that against a 1 0 and one. Then he lost before that against a uh, Sir Rangise, the guy who knocked out Chocolatito. So he he got blown out in four rounds. So since 2015, he's been fighting once each year. Lost one, lost one. This is a this is Diego shit. Take this guy out. Like I said, it should be a unanimous decision. Easy. Stay sharp. Born fight, kind of. It's going to be a born fight. I don't think Diego's going to knock this dude out. The dude knows how to survive. He knows how to fight. knows how to play the game. Diego De La Hoya. Unanimous decision.